The United Kingdom's aviation sector is a £50 billion industry that supports a million jobs, brings £20 billion worth of tourism into the country every year and ensures the UK maintains its global position. Keeping the UK's businesses connected to the rest of the world has never been more important. Air traffic is growing and is close to outgrowing the airspace available to support it. Much of the UK's airspace structure hasn't changed since the 1960s, although today's technology and aircraft capability can deliver much less noise and environmental impact. The real benefits of these technologies are being held back by an inefficient and ageing infrastructure. Imagine the road traffic levels of today, with all the capabilities of modern vehicles, using the roads of the 1960s, and you see some of the challenges facing aviation. Communities close to airports feel the impact of aircraft noise and emissions most, while for airlines, fuel consumption is higher than it needs to be. To reap the benefits of increased traffic whilst ensuring that environmental impacts and noise are minimised, the UK must have an airspace fit for the 21st century. The future airspace strategy has been designed to pave the way for new technologies and practices which will make life better for communities, business and passengers. Our airspace structures have evolved over the last 60 years as airports have developed and grown. Routes and holds are no longer in the best location and that means they don't unlock the true potential of modern aircraft. Aircraft on some departure routes are held down after takeoff to avoid other routes above them. Some are held down until they have flown under arrival holds. But holds could be moved, enabling us to lift the lid on airspace so that aircraft could climb and descend more smoothly. And that would reduce the impact they have on communities below flight paths. We are clear that this will reduce the noise footprint around airports, which means that more people will benefit. We now have the technology to design alternate departure routes. This would allow us to position aircraft more flexibly to provide some respite and predictability for local communities repeatedly overflown at low levels and giving us the flexibility to handle peak traffic flows. Although these changes are complex, the environmental and economic benefits would be significant. We have already done this in some locations and been able to prove the benefits. Some departure routes are now based on more accurate navigation using GPS instead of ground-based beacons, reducing the number of people overflown by as much as 70% and saving hundreds of tonnes of fuel and CO2. This kind of navigation is already in use at Bristol Airport, where it means aircraft approaching from the south now fly along the Bristol Channel instead of over land. We can now accurately predict when aircraft will arrive at their destination airport and absorb delay during the flight, reducing the need for airborne holding. Modernising our airspace so it's fit for the 21st century will give us more and better connectivity and ensure we maintain our global position. Work is already underway across the UK, delivering the future airspace strategy as the foundation for a safe and sustainable airspace infrastructure for this and the next generation.